Wer will was machen? I shaved my head. Um, that happened. Ah, I wanted to do it for so long, but now I did it. I'm not good at making these continuously, like, weekly videos, simply because I have a lot on my hand these days. And I don't want to, like, pressure myself into uploading videos that I don't like, because that happened in the past way too often. I've been to my first festival last week, and I went to Deichbrand, which is a like hip-hop mainstream festival in northern Germany. It's rather big. This year there were like 50,000 visitors, customers, people going to the festival. But And I went with my brother and so here's like a little clip of all the stuff that we did, all the bands that we saw and go. to a festival, of course I am an expert because I don't see a reason why I shouldn't be. So here are some tips or things that I've noticed at this festival and I think they can apply to a lot of festivals. The first thing, spoiler, you didn't get tan, you're just really fucking dirty. Every time I took a shower, like before that I thought like, oh damn, I got really tan and then I showered and it was just like, no, 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 it just dirt. But I did get a little bit tan, I don't know, can you see this? Oh yes you can! They get a little bit tan, look at this! I never get tan, I just get sunburned and then I get pale again. Like really fucking pale. I look alive now, my concealer doesn't fit me anymore. The next thing is hydration. So the weather was bomb at the festival, there was no rain at all, which... I wish there would have been a bit of rain, but I mean, you can't have it perfectly. So it was hot, no rain, it was dust all over. So you need to stay hydrated. But when you stay in a line for two hours, don't get too hydrated or you will have to give up your spots to go to the toilet. Two people behind us, the one girl, she was like, it was, I think it was 20 minutes to the concert, so we, the wait was almost over. But she was like, I, 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 I can't do it anymore, I just gotta fucking pee! And so they had to leave their really good spots. I mean, I had to pee as well, and in my head I like started to think I had like a bucket of water with me. Like, maybe I can pee in this bucket? Maybe I can just let it rip at the end? It's dark, no one's gonna see it. But then the concert started and adrenaline happened, so it was like, oh, look, didn't have to pee anymore. I know, bodily functions are... Thing. And the last thing that I really want to talk about is, I know at a festival, especially when the weather's really good, everyone's running around basically in underwear. Most of the women I met were either wearing just bikini tops or sport, sports bras, and I mean most of the men were uh, shirtless as well. So I get that there's like a certain appeal to it, however that does not give you the permission to touch whoever the fuck you want. Here's what happened. 
um, my brother and I were waiting for a concert and we were just laying in the grass, it was like midday or something. We were just laying there and kind of sleeping. My brother was asleep. I was just like chilling there. And then the guy who was sitting next to me, he like turned and accidentally kicked me, which is, he said sorry and I was like, oh no, don't worry, it's fine. So, I mean, these things happen. Then I just laid back down again, closed my eyes, started to fall asleep and then I had a, all of a sudden, I had his fucking hand on my boob. That fucking shocked me. How do people have the audacity to do that? Not only did he grab my my fucking boo with my brother lying next to me, I, when I get up, I was like, what the fuck, dude? What the... What the fuck? <laughs> and he was like, oh, I thought you'd like it, and tried to grab it again. I was like, no, no. And then a friend of his, a female friend of his, was like, oh, we thought you'd like it. I was like, no. Why the fuck do you think I would like it if a stranger would just come out of the blue and touch my breast? And I think that's what people need to fucking understand. This is my body and I. it doesn't matter what I wear or how I dance or how I portray myself. That does not give you the right to touch me. I can't wrap my mind about it. Maybe you people who do this random boob and butt touching thing, can you explain to me why you do that? I mean, yes, when I see a pretty woman or a pretty man, I'm like, yes, yeah, dude, that, that person's fucking hot. But I don't just go up to them and touch them. Okay, so in Germany, when you get sexually assaulted for a long time, you are only able to, to accuse that other person of um, sexual assault if you physically try to block that person. But the police always said, don't physically block that person. It would, it would just get worse. So you were like, what the fuck am I supposed to do now? But now it's like finally starting um, that a no should be enough and if I say no and you touch me, it's sexual assault. This is going out to men and women as well, like women or men who have been grabbed at the ass or like between the legs. Go up to the fucking security and tell that you can get that person kicked out so that the person notices and realizes that that person is doing something wrong. And for other men, if a woman or whatever kind of person is coming up to you and suddenly starts to rub their ass in your dick, you can say no to that and if that person continues you can do the fucking same thing. You can go to the security guy or girl and say, this person is fucking offending me. This shouldn't be a topic in 2016, but it is and I want you all to stand up for it and own the right you have over your body. To so other men and women and everyone in between and no means no and it should be enough for you if someone says no to you, you have to respect that. You have to, otherwise it can be sexual assault and you will get consequences of it. And to all the people saying like, oh, it's gotten so hard to talk to people these days. No, it hasn't. And we all have a really huge fear of rejection and you don't know what to say to that person. But grabbing someone's butt is not the right way to approach someone. Talk to people and communicate and don't just touch them because that's and rude and disgusting and not appropriate. Sarah, eat out. I'm sorry for the bed creaking, but somehow I only feel comfortable in my bed doing videos. Bye.